Hello there, people, and welcome. Welcome to Let's Play G. Welcome to Let's Play Che. Here we are playing a little bit of, well, apparently, according to my screen, I'm playing the Stanley Parable. No idea what this game is, never played it, haven't the foggiest what it's about, and I've never seen a Let's Play on it. And oh wow, I have like a, I have like a scream of the scream of the scream of the screen down here. Not quite sure why that's a weird, like, square mouse thing going on there, but whatever. So we're just gonna go ahead and, um, well, oh, yeah, we're going to start. Now, uh, yeah, squat sod it. Let's just, let's just go. This Click is the story skip. of a man named Stanley. Right. Stanley worked for a company oh. in a big building where he was employee number 427. Am I really? Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 mm -hmm. and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at the desk, telling him what buttons to push, how Sounds long intriguing. to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. Sounds like a really fun so job you've got Stanley there, Stanley. Every moment that the orders came in, though he had been made exactly for this job, and Stanley was happy. How am I happy being sat in a room? And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Parable. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. Not even no one? one showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Rude. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Clearly. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Yeah, I'm up. So, first things first, apologies, this was supposed to be a Watch Dogs video. However, I've had some proper trouble getting it recorded off my PS4. Um, I have it on PS4, not on PC, so... Recording's a bit more difficult. It's quite simple, it's just not simple at the same time, so apologies for that. So instead we're playing the Stanley Parables, our first let's play, so let's let's just go. Let's just let's just let's just go. Really? They're all gone. Stanley decided to go to the around here then. Perhaps he had simply Hi. Memo. something Monday. No matter how hard Stanley looked, <laughs> Who farted? Okay. It's just an intriguing, intriguing place. What does he even say? I like work, just hate my boss. Awesome. What's in here? It's a very strange place. Hmm. What is the time? Apparently, I'll go to my meeting room or something like that. Uh, oh. Stanley came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. Now, do I play along or do I go from the other way? Um, let's play along. Let's play along. We'll go to the left and see what we can find. Which, uh, apparently is not going to be a lot. Meeting room. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to Meeting go room. up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer. Termination there. Tuesdays. We're broke Wednesday. <laughs> Do not alter without consulting whiteboard manager. There's a manager for the whiteboard? You hire a person to manage whiteboards. What the hell? That's just a weird thing to do. Am I? Oh, I'm in that list. Or am I? No, I don't know. Complete today's unfinished agenda items right next day's agenda reflect. Sounds thrilling. Right. Whoa, I can't seem to get past a draw. Right, let's continue. Oh, a broom closet. Put me in the broom closet. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here. So he turned around and got back on track. Did I now? Is there really nothing using here? Is there really nothing to use in here? There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. <laughs> no reason to still be here. Why? I want to remain here. Hmm. Okay. Oh, hello. Stairs. 
Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Really? Okay. What's down the stairs? We're gonna go up. We're gonna go up. We're gonna let it play. Oh, this is a nice room. Oh, executive bathroom, let me in. Oh, come on, man. Ugh. Right, here we go. Let's continue. What's in here? Nothing. Oh, Jesus. Is this room big enough for you? Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any... This is a massive room. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? Indeed. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. <laughs> and so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Oh, <laughs> right. What is it? 845. <laughs> but of course, Stanley couldn't Two, possibly have known eight, this. 845. Yes. yes. Incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, awesome. Stanley happened to input the correct oh. code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped cool. into the newly opened passageway. Okay. Lights. What's up here? There's an elevator with a big arrow pointing down. Let's go down. Let's go down. Ooh. This game is confused. What is this game even about? I don't even know. It just seems to be random. Oh, loading screen. Awesome. It just seems to be very random. <sighs> right. Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. Mm. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now? When for years mm. it had Why did he feel this to now? This yep. question would not go unanswered for long. We made it. It's very dark in here. Look out for the lights. Okay. Stanley walked oh. straight ahead to a large door that read Mind Control Facility. Escape. Ooh. Hmm. <laughs> That's very tempting. Hmm. We're going to let it play. We're going to let it play. Now, what's in here then? Oh, I'm stuck in here now. <laughs> Big light bulb. The lights rose on an oh, enormous damn. room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the? I can always play the game and come back and do things differently, can't I? I assume. Okay, let's go down here. Do, 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 do. Oh, cameras! What am I? I'm. F what? These are all got numbers. Ah. Oh. What am I? Four. Each Four two seven. I'm an there. In the That's mine. Stanley's That's my one. The lives of so many individuals what the hell, man? On a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Oh, hello. That's a lot of screens. That is a lot of screens. Another button, eh? What's this sort of elevator? This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Where's my number? There it is. Really yeah, 427. This time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? How many employees are there? 600. One of which is fired, apparently. Oh, okay. Right. Elevator. No. He refused to believe it. He <laughs> couldn't accept it. His own no. life in someone else's He refused to believe it. Never. Could not accept it. Was it was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind oh, that's cool. to the world? I like that effect. Hello. Oh my God! It's still dark in here as well. Roof, the heart of the operation controls labor with emotions. Control status. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, this all of it monitored bizarre. and commanded from House. this very place. Some and sort as of the cold reality thing. of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery Whoa, what would is never this? again exert its terrible power what over is this? human life. For Do I... he would dismantle yeah, the controls okay, didn't do anything. once and for I'm good. All. I'm good. Didn't do anything down there. Whatever. So I've got to go and dismantle the, 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 the facility. What is this? Five. 
Oh, there's another one up there, but you gotta press them in order or something like that. Right, whatever. Mind controls idle, awaiting input. Hi. Okay. System power. Now apparently I'm supposed to turn it off. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Off. Oh god, what did I do? <laughs> okay. What um What have I done? Music. Music Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Blackness. Is it over? Oh. oh. <laughs> Ooh! He light. won! He had I've won? The machine. Really? Unshackled himself from I've been playing this game for like five command. minutes and I've already beaten it. Freedom was mere moments away. Freedom! Yet, Freedom! Even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Mm. Where had his co-workers gone? Indeed. How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? Big damn door. But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power yeah, that he none of this matters. Seeking, but I'm free. Perhaps his Got to go outside and go and understand. chill. Go to the park and get myself an ice cream. No, it's a nice place here. I might even go over that, in that mountain over there. Well, it's like a large hill, but okay. There's a house there. It will be Do I get to go in the house? And that was all he needed to know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. This is a large door, man. That's freaking huge. Yay! Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation. The immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. <laughs> and Stanley was happy. I was happy. So <laughs> Apparently I've just got I've just got a Jima saying finished the game. <laughs> okay, so that was bizarre. And I'm back here again. What the F? What the actual F? Hello? Oh my god. Okay. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided. Well, I'm going to, to the right this time then. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay. Go to the meeting room. Right, here's the double doors. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No, I'm going to the door on my right. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. <laughs> Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Okay, I will stop by the employee lounge. Ah, ah yes, true. Some nice employee lounge. Admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, drink. beautifully constructed room. Stanley yeah. simply stood here, drinking it all in. It's a nice, uh... It's a nice room. What does that say? Full... Fu fuel, right. Yes, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Um... No, he didn't. I'm not going through this door. I'm going straight ahead, good sir. Ha-ha! Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's <laughs> five years ago. Stanley was so bad at following directions, he should have been fired years ago. I could have done the voice over this easily. What's all this then? Do not jump from the cargo lift while it is in motion, it will cause death. Really? It's quite a high drop. Oh, look, it's vans. With that, that one's on. Penalty for misuse of cargo lift for thousand dollars. Penalty for jumping off the cargo lift for thousand dollars. You get a penalty for jumping off of the cargo lift. Looks Why would I, I jump off? We've gotten off on the wrong foot here. Maybe. I'm not your enemy, really. I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. Who even are you? Someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please. 
Stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Uh, shut up. I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. Asking for her. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. I don't give a damn about her. I don't really care about her. Urgent. Employees should never under any circumstances attempt. Attempt to what? Attempt to... Who ripped this? Whom? Whom have you ripped this? Bloody bastards. Right, here we go. Okay. What's going on in here? Whoa! Okay. Kind of made me jump. Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly play How can I be the one reaching out to her and the phone is ringing for me? Pick up the phone. No! I don't want to pick up the phone. Can I stop the phone? Can I unplug the phone? I can unplug the phone! A white light engulfed him, filling him not just with radiance, but with hope. Hope for a life reunited one- Wait. Oh, <laughs> goodness. Stanley, did you just unplug the phone? I did. No, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? Because I'm actually awesome. Chose incorrectly. I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double it's check. Because you suck, man. You don't know anything. No, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music <laughs> comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. What? Have I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. Yes, I am. You're a real person. <sighs> the Stanley isn't real. Oh my god, this game. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real world decision making. Uh, shit you up. Grasp the severity of the situation. Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. Go I'm going to stop the game for a moment phone. so we can educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. Please observe this helpful instructional video. What instructional? Oh, okay. Choice. <laughs> Choice. Part of being a real person. Oh, but if more on earth. It can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Stephen has a choice. Why not Stanley? He could spend years helping improve the quality of life for citizens of impoverished <laughs> third world nations. Or by giving them a cigarette. Or he could systematically set fire to every orphan living in a 30 kilometer radius of his house. <laughs> what? Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does <laughs> not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, My goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. <laughs> My goodness, isn't it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. Excellent. <laughs> Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Most oh, this is professionals amazing. Most recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Yes. And no, I don't make 48,000. What do I? Maybe I do. Meaningful, and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant, and the feeling okay. should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Infield exercise. Whoa, what is happening here? You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradictions. What's with the forklifts? But not to worry. There's like now that you're probably informed two, on two three, four, making, five forklifts in this room. Choice you made just a few minutes ago, and see what the eight. correct thing to do eight would Eight choices. Been. This way, please. No. All right, fine. Why do I have to go through here? Do I have to go all the way back again? Oh man, I don't want to go back. No, I don't want to go back. Damn it. 
Okay. Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Imagine me off the platform. The character dying senselessly. Oh yeah, this wasn't here last time, was it? This. That story would make no sense at all. Hmm. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. <laughs> Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. Okay. So we're just gonna go through here. Is this room available? No. Damn it. Okay. Go back down here. Just gonna check some doors. Oh look, it's the lovely looking staff room again. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Okay. Right I'm back. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story right. first. Right. Well, in that case, I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead, and you'll be fine. All right. I'm gonna go down the stairs. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, mm -hmm. he entered the door on his left. Entering the door on my left. Okay. Now where? So I'm in yeah, the meeting room. single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's the office, manager. hoping he might find an answer there. Okay. Oh, the boob closet. Oh man, it's locked. Damn it. Down the stairs this time. Coming to a staircase. Oh, what the hell? He walked upstairs to his boss's. This wasn't here last time. Got the crying out loud. All right, we're going up. Can I get through here? No. Into the boss's office. Can we... Oh, look, it's not the executive toilet anymore. It's changed. Do these doors change? I don't know. No, but this room certainly bloody well has. Jesus! Stepping inside his manager's office... This is completely different! ...once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. Well, until yeah. he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. Mm -hmm. He had seen it on his boss's computer just yeah. last week. Night Shark 115. Night was Shark 115. The door? Would it still work? <laughs> there was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up. But now, he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath, and then spoke the code. <gasps> Night Shark 115. Night Shark 115. Night Shark 115. Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. He spoke it into the receiver. Right there on the wall. Night Shark. 115. Night Shark 115. Night Shark. 115. You didn't mishear me, did you? No. Please speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. Night Shark. 115. Okay, fine. You're not going to do it, but you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. <laughs> I asked you for this Calm one down. single thing for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. If you didn't want to what see the hell, you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever <laughs> the hell you wanted over there. Dude, chill. Why did you come this way? Calm Explain. the hell down, man. Say what are you chatting about? Me. Explain yourself, you coward. Okay. Just behave exactly as Stanley would. That means what? Choosing responsibly <laughs> oh, what the hell? The story first. Why am I I'm back here? Sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. Oh, my God. Right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Right, I'm going in the door on my left. Okay, you're in. Okay. Made it thus far. Yet there was not a single person here either. 
feeling a wave of disbelief. Whoa! Is behave exactly as Stanley would. What the hell? That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. Oh my god, I'm so I'm confused. Quite sure you'll be up to the task. What is happening? My lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, yeah. he entered the door on his left. Well, I went in there just now and it kicked me back here, so I'm going right. No! Oh, good lord. Do that? Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. What is it going on here? Why can't I not get in here? What is all this gibberish? 7890789 seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine. 1, 2, 3, question mark, 1, 2, 3, question mark, question mark. Oh my god. Okay, this place is bizarre. Okay, going back to the left. Going around. What's happening? I'm here. Oh, it's what ruined. the hell, man. You I can't believe, after everything we talked about, that you... My story! You've destroyed my work! Why? For what? What did you get <laughs> out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left what it is like the so much hell is happening in this well, game? It's get worth Chris it. out of the broom closet. Yeah, Chris is in the broom closet. What? No, he's not. Way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is Hire someone correct, to synergize to papers. To papers that. are too synergized. Fire paper guy. Hire somebody forever. to fire the paper synergizing <laughs> guy. <laughs> I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To what on all of my earth is happening in this game? What's the Ploy everything is okay. Do do? Do I? No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have to. No. I have to. Oh God. Oh Jesus, what is happening? Uh, I have no idea what is happening in this game. Uh. What on earth? I'm here. I'm still here. I'm here. here in this pile of rubbish with you. Oh you God. This game is so clever. clever. This is just bizarre. Where we are. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine. It's probably made more sense for me to world. play live, because then what, people can actually tell me, like, oh, go left, or go right, or Didn't do this, do that, or whatever. Important it was to and so on like and so forth. Stanley. He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you? You're a child. All right. Oh. My story... I'll go through there. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a hole under the there. facility. You would have destroyed it. I did and see it. Victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard. What on earth? When Stanley came to a set of what? Doors, Why are we up here now? Is that Stanley? Stanley? Hello? Stanley. Hello. Is everything okay? Stand, please. What I, on earth? I Why am I over here? The end? Where's the end? I Thank you for playing the Stanley part. Your game is confusing. I don't understand your game. Right. Just mean I have to play it again in some other weird manner and try and figure out Kevin Brighting, you, you genius. You have a brilliant voice, but. So does this mean I now need to, like. Come back and, and then play it in a different manner to like go down the stairs instead of going up them or take the escape route instead of not taking the escape route and Oh my days, I'm so confused. Hmm. Well I'm just gonna leave the first thing as that, I think. So if you guys want me to play this again, then uh, in the comments below, so I know you've made it to the end, write down, post it. Night Shark 115. We're going to use that as the word. Night Shark 115. Make sure you post that in the comments below. I know you reached this far. Also, post it if you want me to continue and take different routes and see what happens. Because this game is confusing as. I have no idea what's going on on this. This is just bizarre. So um, so yeah. Don't forget to give this. Don't forget to give this a like. Don't forget to comment for me and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, I'm going to go and like boggle. And sort of like, oh wow, I think I'm coming back to the beginning, am I? I'm back at the beginning? What's happening?
Oh, I'm back at the beginning. Awesome. I have no idea what's going on, so if you want me to continue playing this, then make sure you do post down below. Nightshark115 in the comment section below. Anyway, guys, it's been it for a while. Don't forget to give me a like. Do not forget to subscribe, and do not forget to comment, and I'll see you in the not-too-distant future. Goodbye.